Hey there, welcome back. Today we'll talk about adding a language switcher to your WordPress site when using Elementor. So, if you have a multilingual website built with the popular page builder, this one's for you. To get started, you'll first need to install and activate the free Translate Press plugin from the WordPress repository. Once you've activated the plugin, go to Settings, Translate Press to choose the languages you want to offer on your site. In the All Languages section, you'll be able to choose your secondary language from this dropdown. The languages you add here are the ones your language switcher will display. The free version of Translate Press supports one new language, but if you ever need more, you can always upgrade to the premium version. Now let's get into the language switcher options the plugin offers. By default, Translate Press adds a floating language selector based on the languages you've added to your site. This is a switcher that follows the user around on every page of your site placed in a corner of your choosing. You can even customize it if you go back to the Translate Press settings area and scroll to the bottom of the general tab. Here you'll be able to choose between the light or dark theme, choose your preferred placement and also the way the language is displayed. Don't forget to save your changes in order to apply them to your site. However, if this type of switcher is not exactly what you had in mind, you can always simply deselect it from here and use one of the other types I'll be showing you in this video. The next option you have and the most flexible there is, is adding the switcher in your Elementor design using the shortcode. To add this type of switcher, all you have to do is search for the shortcode widget in the Elementor sidebar, place it wherever you'd like on your page, I'll go with the footer this time, and then enter the language switcher shortcode in the designated field. You can then of course move your switcher literally anywhere else on the page if you change your mind, and if you go to the advanced tab of the widget settings, you can use all of the normal Elementor settings to control spacing, positioning, and so on. You can even add effects to it, a background color, borders, and all kinds of customization options that are usually available within the interface. If you're using Elementor Pro and its theme builder, you can also include the language switcher shortcode in the templates that you create. For example, if you have an individual blog post template, you could include the language switcher right below the post title so that your visitors can easily choose the language they want to read the article in. Now, if you've also used the Elementor theme builder to design your own custom header, you can also place your language switcher in that header template by using the dedicated menu item language switcher that Translate Press provides. First, open the header template that you've created to check the name of the menu that you're using in the nav menu widget. In my example, the menu name is main menu. Next, from the WordPress dashboard, go to appearance, menus, and make sure the right menu is selected. Then you can add your language switcher to the menu using the dedicated language switcher menu item. You can either add each language as a top level menu item, or you can set the current language as the top level item and then add the other languages as submenus. This way, your switcher will take the form of a dropdown. This is the recommended option to go with if you have multiple languages added to your site. Alternatively, if you have a bilingual website, you can also use the opposite language item. This way, the switcher will always display the opposite language from the one that the site is currently in. Now, switching between languages only takes one easy click. And that's it! That's how you add a language switcher to your Elementor-based website using the free Translate Press plugin. For more information, you can check the Translate Press documentation linked in the description below, and for more useful WordPress tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching!